Each year, around 30,000 people are reported missing in Australia. That equates to one person every 18 minutes. And in the forest of the Victorian Alpine Ranges, a dense mountainous bushland that stretches 5,199 square kilometres is no exception. It's not unusual for people to get lost in Victoria's remote and rugged high country, but it is strange for them to remain missing after weeks of searching. Four people disappeared between 2019 to 2020 within a 60 kilometer radius, and a strange mysterious recluse who lives in the ranges is at the center of the investigations. The locals have come to know him as the Button Man. The Button Man is an eccentric and experienced bushman who got his nickname from his homemade deer antlers that he has fashioned into buttons, as well as ear jewellery. He is said to be around 70 years of age, but has the speed and stamina of someone half his age. He spends months at a time in the bush only to return to a nearby town to pick up extra supplies. The Button Man, or Buttons as he is known to the locals, has a camp on the side of a remote mountain conveniently placed to allow him a great vantage point to spy on all who step into his domain. Many campers and hunters have encountered this strange recluse emerging from the dark and approaching them at campsites. He will interrogate them and ask them why they are there, but rarely responds to questions about himself. He is described as having short grey hair, wears dark clothes with buttons fashioned out of deer antlers, and quote, a thousand mile stare that would make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Little is known about the button man's personal life, or even his real name, and even less is known as to why he chooses to live off grid alone. A peculiar trademark of his is to build rock pyramids in random spots, and he places piles of pebbles on roads to know if a car is passed. The reasons for this are unknown. He is said to hunt using expertly crafted indigenous spears which have been used by the Aboriginal people of Australia for generations. As a sort of sport or pastime, he is known to stalk other hunters and bushmen, playing a sort of hunt the hunter style game. He will appear like a ghost and only makes himself known when he wants to be known. Those spending time in the bush have hidden firewood supplies in crevices but returned and found their stash gone. They say someone must have been watching them carefully to know their location. An experienced hunter woke around 11pm for a night hunt, only to find the button man had set up a camp next to him, without seeing him or hearing anything. Another disturbing incident was when a wildlife photographer who had spent several days photographing the area near the button man's campsite, when the photographer returned home and downloaded his photos to his computer, there was one unexplained shot of himself asleep inside his tent. No one knows who took this photo. The button man has many more stories about him, but the strange disappearances around his area have taken him from local legend to international headlines, which is why a police squad for missing persons hiked into the bush to question him, not to accuse of any wrongdoing, but because he has a vast knowledge of the area, an area he is extremely possessive of. On March the 20th, 2020, an elderly couple disappeared from their campsite on Dry River Track, Wanangatta, Russell Hill, 74, and Carol Clay, 73. Russell and Carol were not husband and wife, but it appears they were having a secret affair. On this trip, Russell drove into the valley on a rough four-wheel drive path known as the Zeka Spur Track, a road he'd built decades earlier while working as a contract logger. Russell picked up Carol from her house in Pakenham on the outskirts of Melbourne on March 19, and the pair headed eastbound for the remote Wanangatta Valley. Russell's family believed he was camping alone. Even his wife didn't suspect anything as he was known to take solo trips frequently since his retirement two years earlier. Light was only shed on the secret affair after they had been reported missing, in which it is believed that Carol was on some of those getaways. The pair have not been seen or heard of since March 20. Russell was part of an amateur radio club and would chat to his friend in the club each day at 6pm. The last known call to the club, Russell said he was having transmission issues. 
When his friend didn't hear anything on March 21st, he thought nothing of it. But after a few days of radio silence, on March 23rd, he reported it to the police. On March 27th, the couple's campsite was found. Disturbingly, the camp had been discovered burned down, and Russell's utility truck had also been badly scorched. The couple were missing from the campsite, along with Russell's drone, which has not been recovered. There was no indication of the pair wanting to disappear. Police checks showed they have not accessed their bank accounts, credit cards or cell phones despite repeated searches from the authorities. So if they hadn't orchestrated their own disappearance, it is unknown as to how their campsite caught fire and burned down. What is known is that Russell Hill was in the area close to the Button Man's campsite flying his drone just a week earlier. Also, a year earlier, it was found that Russell had told a friend from the radio club that while he was on the King Billy track with another friend, they had an encounter with the button man. He said that the strange man was agitated and let them know he didn't want them camping there. In May 2020, police searched the area where Russell Hill and Carol Clay were last seen in a final effort before the snowfall. They found nothing. Another mysterious disappearance is the case of Niels Becker. Niels Becker was a 39-year-old experienced bushwalker who went missing on a solo five-day hike in Victoria's Alpine National Park, which he had prepared for months. Police said Mr. Becker was well-equipped for the hike and familiar with the area. He left the Upper Jameson Hut on October 24, 2019, and two days later, he sent a message to his family from Valio Gantner Hut that he was heading to his car at Mount Sterling roughly six or seven hours away, depending on route. The last confirmed sighting was by the button man, who told police he saw him in his area. The track took him past the button man's camp. This is not surprising, as his camp is at a spot known as the crossroads, where bushwalkers in the know head because it is one of the few places with good radio reception. Police used over 70 people to search for Niels Becker, but with no luck. The police had a few theories as to what happened to Becker. Cold nights leading to hypothermia, he may have walked out of the search area, or perhaps foul play, or something more mysterious was involved. These are just two of the several cases of the strange disappearances in Victoria's high country. Whether or not the button man is somehow involved in these cases, one should remember that it is extremely easy to get lost in such an unforgiving, dense terrain. Also, it should be noted that while the encounters with the button man are strange, there have been no reports of violence involving him. What are your thoughts on these cases? Is the button man just a convenient creation of the media? Or is it too strange and something sinister? Let us know in the comments. This has been an episode of Shadow Matter. If you like this episode, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. And together, we can explore the strange, the mysterious, the terrifying, the shadow matter.